wait forever. Clara Miss Jackson. What's going on little piggies and welcome back to another Hamdog YouTube video and especially welcome back to another Hamdog story time and the one I have for you guys today I hope you guys will enjoy because this is one of the times I should have or would have gotten fired from my job and if you guys don't know I work a summer job and what my job is I work at the fireworks stands out in the, on the Indian reservation and the only reason I work out there is because I have like I'm not native myself but I have friends that are native because I live in like such a like Jesus really Christ. close to the native reservation and everything but uh so I was out there one time and I'm like a stalker and a runner and I, I rarely sell I only sell when it's like really busy so I'm usually just, oh just chilling behind the stands like cooling off or I'm just running between the, my company has three stands and or the company I work for I shouldn't say my company but the company I work for has three stands and that they have me just run back and forth and deliver product and when I'm not I'm just chilling behind the stands and there's a whole bunch of like little native kids and I'm not native at all like I have no links to being native but there's a whole bunch of these little native kids running around and this one kid had a box of firecrackers and so he was just tossing them around we were having fun he, we were throwing them out in the water there's like water right next to it so we were just throwing them out in the water and then I left to go do a quick run, run up to the container and grab stuff and come back down. Give me a fucking headshot And that. by the time that Please. I went up to the container, which is probably, I mean, it took me about 10 minutes, but I went up to the container, and came ass. back down, did my delivery, and then parked the truck. Went back to the stand, got, got a bottle of water, and was sitting there. And then I see like a little flame, like I see like a little flame of like, obviously fire. But uh, I see a little flame on the grass. I'm like, just oh, that's there. weird. So I went up and looked at it. And this kid has like a whole, like maybe like a, a, a diameter of five feet, like a circle of just fire. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I had to run. I I didn't want to make it a big like thing because as soon as someone hears fire out there, the, everyone from all the stands, like there's probably like 30, 25 stands out there. They all just come running to the one spot, and it's like I didn't want to make a whole bunch of commotion. So what I did, I went and uh, went to our little fridge at our stand, the stand I was at. Got like a couple water bottles and started Spons pouring it out on the fire. And then I made a, like a little ring around the fire. And the whole time I was trying to stay quiet because we were like right next to the doors of the stands. Or, like we we're like 10 feet away from the stand, but like the kid was being loud enough. He's like. Uh, fire, fire, someone help, there's a fire. And I was like, bro, what's going on? And then I came over here and started doing all that. And then we started throwing sand on the fire because really like, that put that. it out. I don't know why, but it just did. And by the time we got it out, like right when we got it out, we threw another fire just like to cover it up. Like we used, it, we, we used the flame from the fire to light the fuse and huck it to make it look like we were just having fun. And like right as we got the last bit of the flame out my boss walked in the back uh, and i my honestly i was so scared because yeah. it's like Jack. i'm the older one there and i wasn't there the entire time but i was still like i felt like i was still liable for it and the people that the kids like the kid the stand that he was with those i had those people really just like want to prove their point not the, not the main lady. I love the main lady. She's cool as shit. But the other ladies, they're all like, they're all trying to one up each other. And I felt like if they would have found out, I would have got my ass chewed. But I was like, okay, I'm keeping this on the low. No Little bro, way. you're keeping this on the low. No one has to hear about this. We we're just having fun. And the reason that the grass, or like Sean's little on. weeds, are black and it. burnt, because I let them on fire. Just let it, just let it go like that. Okay, just let it go like that. And luckily he didn't tell anyone, girls. I probably really would have gotten fired. But that's all I've got for you guys today. Please let me know what you guys like about the like about that story. And if you guys want to see more stories like that, or more like funny stories and more sad stories, or whatever I hey, upload, very, just let me know down in the comments right below. Like I said, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so much to the Hamdog YouTube channel. It's been Hamdog and deuces.